the LaPorte County Historical Society was founded in 1906. And then come 2003, the county wanted to give us a new space. And we were really lucky at the same time, Dr. Kessling, who built this building we're currently in, the Kessling Building, built it in 1993. He was looking to sell the building. With the money that he received from the sale of this building to the county, he added a three-story wing to the back of the building. And we were able to move in here with our collection in 2006, our 100th anniversary. Back in 1993, this building was built by Dr. Peter Kessling for his automobile collection, his personal collection. He had about 50 automobiles. Some of my favorite automobiles are right here. This is, the, this is a cord, and the cord was built in Auburn, Indiana, over by Fort Wayne. And next to that is my very favorite car, which is the Duesenberg, and it was built in Indianapolis. And those about the 1920s and 1930s. And another car that we have back here is the Studebaker, which of course was built in South Bend. The other maroon one in the distance there is a Tucker, and it just so happens that this year is the 75th anniversary of the Tucker automobile. There's a huge celebration going on in Hershey, Pennsylvania next month, a whole weekend celebrating the Tucker automobile because there are only 50 of them that were made and only 47 of them still exist today. And this is number 12. Another of my favorite collections here in the museum is the William Adrian Jones gun collection. These guns in this collection were collected by Mr. Jones from all over the world. He traveled the world three times. Mr. Jones had a foundry and machinery company in Chicago. And when he became semi-retired, he spent his summers here in La Porte. In 1916, he decided to uh, write his will, and in his will, he said he was going to donate all of the gun collection to the city of La Porte. He was very good friends with Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt had a ranch in the Dakota Territory, which is now North Dakota. They would go hunting with each other at their ranches. There are about 800 weapons, at least 800 weapons from all over the world. Some of my favorites are the ones from the Middle East. My family history, my ancestors all settled here in Laporte County from Sweden back in the 1860s. The really special exhibits that we have that uh, bring out the history of LaPorte County. For example, the Miriam Benedict uh, display in our pioneer room. She's the first settler that was here in LaPorte County in 1829. When people come in and say they want to know what are the oldest objects that we have on display here in the museum, the uh, mastodons. This area just on the south edge of LaPorte County had the Grand Kankakee Marsh. Over 20,000 years ago, there were mastodons living in this area. They would go down to the Grand Kikiki Marsh to, to get a drink, and then because of the huge weight, they would get stuck sometimes and then sink, and they couldn't pull themselves out. And then 10,000, 20,000 years later, farmers here in Laporte County in the southern part down near the Kankakee River area were digging ditches and, and all of a sudden find these ancient mastodons. My main goal is to teach people about local history, about these stories that they didn't know. So my most memorable exhibit when I came here as a third grader, uh, I remember seeing the perm machine. It was in the basement at the time, and I remember thinking like that was the craziest thing I'd ever seen in my whole life. So that's like my most memorable artifact is definitely the perm machine. Of all the period rooms, my favorite is the dentist's office, just because I've always loved going to the dentist. I want to say the reason that I got into museums in the first place was because I visited this museum when I was in third grade. So I, I remember it like it was yesterday. Having the ability to provide that for other people in the community is like the greatest thing I could ever do. I really love being able to get people excited about not just history as a whole, but specifically their history if they're from LaPorte County. And I love that we're able to connect people with the great things that happened here in their own county. Mm -hmm.